and AARP. Anybody ARP? 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 Anybody ARP? 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 Did you get your free backpack? <laughs> what she says, thank you, because I would like to... Uh, listen, I'll tell... You get a free... You got to do the paperwork. But that... You get a free backpack. It's a great backpack. Fantastic backpack. Inside the backpack is a pillbox that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I didn't even know that was gonna be in there. I'm also getting a weekend duffel soon. These are the perks. These are the perks. There's a mesh pouch for your passport because we said we're gonna travel. Did we not say that? We're gonna travel now that we're empty nesting? But why can't I find any travel companions? Perhaps they co-sign for student loans for their deadbeat children, which are not dischargeable in bankruptcy. How many times does Susie Orman have to tell you that? That's right, Susie Orman, I said it. Yes, I said it, Susie Orman. There it is, fiduciary responsibility, fiscal prudence. I like the cut of her jib, she knows what's what. I await further instruction, Susie Orman. She's right about 90% of things, except for her belief that the only thing that stands betwixt you and financial freedom is your attitude. Can't have that kind of talk, Susie. Can't. Playing the baloney card, playing the baloney card. As you know, your attitude has no relevance whatsoever to world markets, corporate malfeasance, University of Chicago School of Economics and their nonsense about a free market and an invisible hand and all of that confabulation. Nothing good can come from the University of Chicago School of Economics. Nothing good can come. And Chicago's a great city. A lot of great comedy has come from there. Does it balance out? I don't know. I don't know. How much credit card debt are you carrying? I don't know. But Second City is fantastic. And let me tell you something about James Spader, since you brought it up. Now, you're young, so you may know James Spader as a heavyset gentleman, balding, fedora, show called The Blacklist, or Lis Noir, if you're in Montreal. But in 1985, not only was he whip it thin, he had the hair of Dakota Fanning. It was silky and long and below the collar. It was like Daryl Hall of Hall and Oates, who were the Beyonce and Jay-Z of the 1970s. Hall and Oates, power couple, made it happen. Oh, the, this is, this is, I'm sorry to yell. I finally saw the Hunger Games. I'm not pretending this. I really finally just saw the Hunger Games on ABC Family. Um, I really, you guys are right, it's great. I, and I didn't not read the books or see it for any reason. Like, I'm not, I'm not I just didn't. And then I was uh, in St. Louis. And by the way, if you haven't been to St. Louis, you needn't. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit, a little bit worse for the wear. John Hamm is from St. Louis, but he's not there now. So uh, I can't think of a reason to go to St. Louis. Don't meet me, don't meet anybody in St. Louis.